let's have a look here. Um, TRB, it is very interesting, and I have to agree with you. It, it, it is some sort of test pump. It's not to say that it's a test pump as such. Um, it, it is completely a failure, but like if you look at this here, to me, it suggests that there's a lot of upside. So, you know, if you if you're, it's it's tough to say how low. Maybe the low is in, right? But what I will say is, if for some reason that there is another sell off and stop on this first low here, I mean, I I think that that would probably be a low to boat situation if if it gives it to us, right? I don't know if it'll give it to us or not, but if if you know if price attempted here and failed again, came back down something like this. Well then, I, I think then that it can run. Um, I mean, the market makers for this, uh, they, they they obviously started to close everything or, or uh, and crashed the price. Um, you know, they've taken their profits. I don't know what how many X's that went up, but it was huge. It was insane. Um, so yeah, I, I do like this. Uh, it's tricky to find an exact bottom on it, but I definitely do like this. I think there's a lot more upside. Uh, the problem is not not the problem, but you know. There's a 100% bounce. This wick will get filled at some point. So if you started to down cost average here, bought here, and were willing to buy lower, eventually I think TRB is going to be a big winner. We know how powerful these wicks can be. Um, it, like you're saying, it's a test pump. It could be a test pump, right? It, it's there, there. Is there a possibility that this can sort of build out this base here, whatever, for a, for a lengthy period of time, and then actually just go go on to a thousand dollars or more right that, that's that's a real real possibility now it's a lot easier for the market to do that now that we've done something like this so i definitely wouldn't rule out something like this um you know the safe trade for me would be to accumulate in down cost average and sell up here into the wick somewhere you know that that for me is the safe trade but uh, if willing, I do like this for for down cost average for for uh, and, and waiting for that base. But it, you need patience on it, right? Sometimes these can base and chop about for a lengthy period of time because the open interest has been shot on. Other times it can pop up really quick um, in the next week. You know, sometimes they actually do come roaring back. It's more often though that they take some time to to develop and be, be, before they come back. But uh, yes, I am with you on this. I really do agree that. Uh, you know, any sort of down cost average in here, uh, I think is would pay off very, very well and very handsomely, uh, because uh, because the volatility in this is huge. Like into the fill the wick is 160 percent, which is huge, right? And that's only from here. If it did go a bit lower and you got the down cost average down to here, just say so you got your average down there. There's a two to three hundred percent gain. So there's a there's a lot of opportunity here. But I will say, you, you know, you need patience. So I would say you need patience. Sometimes it can happen quick, but uh, more often than not, it takes time. My internet is acting up here, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I think I think patience is important, and also be willing to add lower if it does go lower. There are two two key factors in being successful in in this trade.